perfect weather to put these two side by side. Wow, this is unexpected. This video today is blowing my mind. Hola, gente. What is up, my people? Welcome to yet another video where we put to the test new hair care on camera and my hair takes the bullet for you. We're going to do a battle of the hair oils, the most famous Moroccan oil light treatment and Oplex number no. 7 bonding oil. I've already tested these two out separately on different videos linked in the eye at the corner. When people ask me which one I prefer between these two, I didn't know what to answer. I'm going to be applying these two side by side to compare performance. We're going to do checkings and I'm also going to talk about claims and a quick fact comparisons. And of course you can consider this the before I have no finishing oils whatsoever. All right, let's start with the price. Oplex number no. 7 is 28 US dollars as is the case of most Oplex steps for some reason and the Moroccan oil light treatment is 34 US dollars. So clearly two very expensive oils. You may be tempted to think that the Moroccan oil is actually more expensive, but that is not the case at all. Yeah, always check the ounces that you're getting. If we got the same amount of product, the Oplex number no. 7 would be more expensive. 1.4 Moroccan oil for being a little bit more affordable. I know what you guys are here for, so let's start applying Oplex number no. 7 bonding oil. So uh, I usually apply for drops. I love the packaging. Definitely a winner. Not only it is more aesthetically pleasing than the Moroccan oil one, but the dropper is also very precise. And when it comes to expensive products and particularly when it comes to oils, a precise dropper is actually really important. Well, we don't want to overdo it. We don't want to waste products and we don't want to look greasy, do we? <laughs> it literally disappears in seconds. So fast absorbing, very lightweight. I feel like I can never overdo it. It's a very hard thing to do. So if you've had really bad experiences in that department with other oils, maybe feeling too heavy or too much for your hair, that alone may be a reason to try Oplex number no. 7 bonding oil. So whew, it claims to give tons of shine and it does look at that i mean compare it to this side where i have applied nothing yet and i do have some shine thank god but uh it's definitely not as much and besides shine oplex number no. seven also promises to fight frizz and repair damage it can be applied on both wet or dry hair but if it is applied on wet hair before styling it is a heat protectant for up to 450 degrees so that's actually really good and that's one of the main differences between the two the moroccan oil light does not promise to be a heat protect it. There you have another thing to factor in there. It really does depend on your lifestyle, your hair care routine, if you tend to use a lot of heat, you know, flat iron, the blow dryer, like myself, you may find this one a little bit more versatile because it replaces your heat protectant. So for now, this one wins in price and this one wins as far as packaging and the fact that it also doubles as a heat protectant, which for some may be very, very important. Does that justify the price gap between the two. I don't know. I think always ultimately the most important thing about products is their performance and that is kind of something I keep repeating. Also there's tons of similarities between these two and we're gonna get into that in just a second but before we do let's go ahead and apply the Moroccan oil light on this side. Okay so here's another difference. It does feel a lot oilier on my hands. The texture is way more watery when it comes to Oplex number no. 7. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and spread this 
as evenly as I can. So market oil light promises to condition to be non-greasy. Tame flyaways. So I'm going to apply a little bit up here and to add up to 118% more shine. So shine is a shared claim between the two. Let's go ahead and see which one shines more. So here's the side. Okay, I can see that. Looks way shinier than it did at the beginning, for sure. Let's see, let's compare one more time with this side. Okay, so both sides added shine. I'm trying to see which one added more shine. You guys will have to help me on this one. I feel that there's not a significant difference. I see a huge difference with or without the oils, but I don't see a significant difference between the two. And there's a few other similarities between these two. For instance, they both promise UV protection. They can both be applied on wet or dry hair. And they both contain silicones plus a combo of different oils. And what's even more interesting is that they both contain mainly the same silicone and that is dimethicone. The Moroccan Oil Light contains dimethicone plus Argania Spinosa aka Argan Oil. Oplex number no. 7 Bonding Oil contains dimethicone and a few other seed oils including sunflower seed oil. Of course there are many other ingredients that are different between these two. Another thing worth mentioning is that the uh, Moroccan oil light actually <laughs> is really moisturizing on your hands. Okay now that I've given these two a little bit of time to absorb, maybe five minutes or so, wow this is unexpected. Actually okay never in a million years I thought I'd be saying this the side with the Moroccan oil light feels quite a bit softer and both of these seem to have absorbed really nicely so i guess if one of your main concerns is that your hair feels a little bit like straw then you may want to use this one now i'm going to come even closer and we're going to take a look at the ends see which side we like better okay this is interesting i think I feel that this side is slightly more flexible. I don't think there's a huge difference between both ends, but I do think there's a little bit more flexibility. On this side, definitely feels softer than the side with Oplex number seven. <laughs> this, this video today is blowing my mind. I never thought I would say these things. Now let's take a look at Frizz. So, Here's the side with the Oplex number 7 and here's the side with the Moroccan oil. I think this side is slightly buffier than this side and Frizz is one of those claims that I'm gonna be checking in and kind of following up on but as of right now just applied I feel that the side with the Moroccan oil feels just a little bit puffier. Oh, that's interesting because I don't know if this has to do with product distribution, but on the mid lengths and ends, it actually looks smoother on the side with the Moroccan oil. And at the top, I think it looks slightly smoother on the side with the Oplex number seven. So a lot of humidity in the air. It's been raining for the past few days. We're in a seaside beach location. Perfect weather to put these two side by side. I can become an instant lioness any second with just a little bit of humidity in the air. Any other thing is not as important to me as frizz control because my hair is pretty wild. I will check in and follow up on this claim and tell you which one. One other important thing to mention is that the Oplex number no. seven is meant for all hair types, whereas the Moroccan oil treatment light is designed specifically for fine or light 
colored hair slash bleached hair and that's very interesting for a couple of reasons first of all because Oplex has this whole range it became initially famous for targeting weak damaged bleached hair and in spite of that it is advised for all hair types the Oplex number no. 7 bonding oil has a bit of an orangey hue the um, Moroccan oil one there's a bit of a yellowy color to both however I can tell you that it's a little bit more intense not too much but just a little bit more intense in the Oplex number no. 7 side now let's compare fragrance first let's go with Oplex number no. 7 which I don't remember it being yeah it's not heavily fragranced which I do like that it smells good I've never been able to describe the way it smells whereas this one the Moroccan oil light it's a tiny bit more fragranced yeah it's just a tiny bit more intense but in a good way it's nice it's a more sweet and floral type of scent so when it comes to fragrance here's my advice if you like the way the Moroccan oil hair masks smell you're gonna love the scent of this one if you're not big on fragrance this one has a little bit less of a presence and a persistence as well of course fragrance is a, an extremely personal thing i keep surprising myself on this video i like the scent of the moroccan oil light treatment more crazy so it's another point for this one thought this would go like very differently Okay, so another important thing to report is that none of these feel greasy and none of these have weighed my hair down. So I'm gonna go now and I will be checking in with you guys as the day progresses. We're gonna see how this do perform over time. All right, so it's almost at the end of the day. I wanted to do a very quick checking. It's been about eight hours since application this is the side with oplex number no. seven and this is the side of the moroccan oil you guys know i am quite of an oplex fan but in quite an unexpected turn of events i must confess that i am more impressed with the moroccan oil side softer and smoother even more hydrated i feel that i would prefer oplex number no. seven in combination with Olplex number no. six before styling my hair on wet hair as a damage control type of treatment and a heat protectant but on dry hair i really really am more impressed with the results i got with the moroccan oil who knew but that's how i'm feeling right now uh, i was not expecting any of this to happen but i'm glad it did because you never know until you really test out things and really really put them side by side how you feel about it. That is it for today guys. I hope I shared enough info so that you can make the right purchase decision for you and you alone. Don't let anyone tell you what you must or mustn't buy. You are the best judge of that. Links are going to be in the description box below and if this video helped you in any way shape or form please give it a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more don't forget to follow me on instagram i'm at heidi gutenberg come say hi i'm kind of lonely there and i will catch up with you all once again on my next video